In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the catalytic converter in this 2011 Chevy Equinox 2.4 liter. First thing we have to do is remove this air intake tube. Loosen this hose clamp down below with a flathead screwdriver. Now loosen the hose clamp next to the air box. Remove this small line by pulling out and take this off. Now you can pull up on the entire unit. And move it out of the way. Now I remove the oil filler cap. And take off the engine cover by gently pulling up on all four corners. Move that out of the way and replace the oil filler cap temporarily so nothing falls in. On the back of the engine, we're going to remove this black bracket that supports the plastic engine cover. There are two 13 millimeter bolts down below here and below there. Using a ratchet and an extension, you can get to them. Now pull up the bracket. We're gonna remove this clip from the bracket. Now unplug your upstream oxygen sensor. Now remove the three 10 millimeter bolts holding on this heat shield. Using an oxygen sensor socket, remove the upstream oxygen sensor. Now you should be able to maneuver the heat shield loose and remove it from the engine bay. Now we've exposed the three nuts holding the catalytic converter onto the Exhaust manifold, we can remove those three. They might come out with the stud and the nut together, or they might come out with just the nut. With everything up top done, we can take the same 15 millimeter socket and remove the two bolts holding the catalytic converter flex pipe to the tailpipe. I remove the nut and bolt that's holding the catalytic converter assembly on. And remove the four bolts holding on this cross member. Now unplug the downstream O2 sensor. And remove the exhaust hanger. With the catalytic converter unbolted from the bracket, we now have to remove this bracket. To remove that bracket, you'll need a swivel socket, 15 millimeter, and remove that nut off of that stud. Now that bracket can be removed. The converter now has enough space to drop out. Now out of the vehicle on the bench, you can remove your downstream O2 sensor from the old catalytic converter. And to reinstall it on your new catalytic converter.
Prepare the new catalytic converter by threading in all of the studs. And installing the gasket. Now lift the new catalytic converter up underneath the car. Reattach the exhaust hanger to the new catalytic converter. And now with that stud up there, you can reinstall the bracket that we just took off. Now from back up top, you can install the 15 millimeter nuts onto the studs of the new catalytic converter and slowly tighten it down, alternating bolts. Now install the gasket between the new catalytic converter and the exhaust pipe. Fasten it with the nuts and bolts. and replug the downstream O2 sensor. Now I'll install the bolt to fasten the new catalytic converter to this bracket. Reinstall this cross member. Moving back up on top, put the heat shield back in place and reinstall the three 10 millimeter screws. Now reinstall your upstream O2 sensor. Plug the O2 sensor in and put the engine cover bracket back in place. With the bracket in place, fasten it with the two 13 millimeter screws. Remove the oil filler cap. Place the engine cover. Now install the intake tube. Careful that this lines up with the throttle body. Now tighten both hose clamps. Lastly, simply reconnect this line. And that's all it takes to replace the catalytic converter in a Chevy Equinox. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to the channel.